Hello, my sweet friends. This is Tracy, and I am so honored you stopped by to watch today's video. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy you found me and hope you will consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button and the little bell next to it. This lets YouTube know that you like my country craft ideas and want to see when I upload new videos. All right, guys. So let me share what we're doing in today's craft. For project number one, I am sharing how I did a sweet tin heart on shiplap. For the heart, I'm using one of these tinsel hearts from the Dollar Tree and I just uh, removed the love and then I just took my scissors and I cut off all of the red tinsel for the uh, entire heart. And I just want to um, just give you a little note, uh, just make sure that you just cut the tinsel and don't cut the frame because it is plastic because yes, guess what? I did. I cut the frame and then I was so bummed, but thank goodness I always buy two of everything. And uh, so I had this one so I could finish this project. Um, but anyway, this is how the frame comes out and it has those little nubs uh, around it. So I just, I don't need those. So I just took my wire cutters and I just cut them off all the way around. There's a little extra part um, and I just took my little box blade and I just cut that little plastic part off being careful not to cut the actual frame because like I said it is plastic and um, it will break very easy. Anyway so then I just took my um, ink colored chalk paint and I just painted the whole frame. Um, I just did one coat. I just tried to get all the way around. I uh, painted the uh, top and then I let that dry and then I painted the underside as well because there were some places that I could still see a little red and so I wanted to make sure that I didn't see any red. Now what I'm using is um, just a sign from the Dollar Tree. This happens to be an old Christmas sign. And so uh, the signs from the Dollar Tree have uh, paper on them. So I'm using two of these signs and w I was very fortunate to get the paper off of one of them pretty easily. Um, but the second one, not so much. So, um, you know, you wouldn't even need, need to take all of this off but because these signs had those little belts on them like for the Santa um, it actually was a, a little raised and so I wanted to get off as much of the paper as I could then to glue them together I just took some craft sticks and uh, glued them together. Then I'm going to uh, give both sides, the back and the front, two coats of this white Waverly chalk paint. Now this was not my original idea. I was inspired by the Crafty Couple. Uh, I will have their video linked below in the description box so that if you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out because this project turned out so super cute and I was really inspired. Then I took my um, ruler and a pencil and I just marked out where I thought, you know, it would look, I want my board to look like shiplap. So I'm just kind of following where maybe a, a bit of the indention would go. And I just did some pencil drawings. Then I'm using my um, Waverly chalk paint in mineral. And then I'm going to go back over it with a thin brush and just kind of distress it a little bit to make it look like faux wood. Then I took a stencil brush and um, or a chippy brush and I just go around the edges of the board where it kind of looks like distressed wood. I got it a little heavy in some areas, but I just kind of worked with it and just kind of it's it's really okay. But, you know, you can always if you get too much, you can wipe it off like with the baby wipe or you can just put more paint over it and just blend it in. I just hot glued it to the board and 
it sticks really well. I embellished it with a gray and white buffalo check ribbon um, that I made that I didn't use. It was on another project. I just made a two loop bow and uh, ended up not using it. And so it's perfect for this little heart. I just hot glued it there in the middle and I added a flower to it and I just think it looks so sweet. Project number two is my Sweet Love Farmhouse Frame. Now these little frames are actually their little shadow boxes. They're so cute. They come like this with little jute and two little clothespins on there for, you know, a little picture or something special, sweet little note. And I thought that I would just change out the paper and maybe embellish it to, uh, you know, match my little decor. So this little picture frame it has uh, just some little jute on there and I'm just going to cut that off and uh, put that to the side so that I can put um, you know use the little clothespins. I rip off the paper and then I have this pink and white uh, paper and I got that at Hobby Lobby of course and uh, they just you know have so many different styles and patterns of paper to match your decor. And I just cut it out uh, with my scissors. Now I try to um, save paper, so I try to put it on the edges, uh, you know, where all I have to do is make a couple of cuts to attach it to the back of my uh, backing of my picture frame. I'm just using my adhesive tape, um, just like I do for my scrapbooking. I think that it's going to hold this. Uh, you could Mod Podge, you could glue it. Um, that you know, is totally optional uh, or ideas, but this adhesive tape is going to hold this quite well. And then next, what I'm going to do is uh, get some jute and I'm going to tie another, um, you know, jute string around it so I can put my clothespins back on there. And the first string that I that I cut, I cut it too short. So I have to cut some longer jute so that I can, you know, tie it tight so that I can put my clothespins back on there. And then next to embellish it just a little bit, I'm going to add some rickrack. I love this large rickrack. I get it at Hobby Lobby, of course, in the ribbons and trims by the roll, um, that section that's in the fabric section. I have also seen large rickrack at Walmart and maybe other places have it, but um, those are my favorite places to get this. And then I just, you know, measure out the size that I need. I hot glue that onto my frame. I take my um, lighter and I just go along the edges to kind of singe those edges because this rickrack is grow grain and it may fray just a little bit. I just embellish it with a little flower and uh, just there in the corner. And this is all I'm doing for this sweet little project. So this special little frame needed a special picture. Here is a picture uh, of both of my boys. I have a 23 year old and a 13 year old. All I can say is God is good. We never gave up and everything happens the way it should. Okay, for project number three is my Sweet Love Farmhouse Arrangement Decor. I'm starting with one of these flowers and garden tins from the Dollar Tree, and I gave it two coats of uh, chalk paint in the color plaster. And then once that was dry, then I just took a stencil brush and I just used some mineral chalk paint to uh, give it a distressed look.
I want to make two of the pink hearts, so I'm going to need two packages of these felt hearts from the Dollar Tree. Uh, inside the package, there are three red hearts, three pink, and two white. Um, and because I wanted to use or make two pink pillows uh, or pink little hearts, I needed to use two packages, which I only used one pink out of that, but I have the other colors for a, another project. So um, here I am showing you how I make the little hearts, and I just take my glue gun and I just trace around. I'm not being too precise because it really doesn't matter, but if you, you know, want to be very particular, you can. And I just put some hot glue there, and then I'm just going to put that one on top of it. And then that will, um, at the bottom, I'm going to leave a little opening so I can input my stuffing. I just buy the stuffing from the craft store, but um, a lot of other friends use old pillows or just, um, you know, other stuffing from, you know, just things that you may have around your house. There are really, there's no wrong um, way or wrong thing to use stuffing. I just like to use a little stuffing from the craft department. And then I'm going to work on my white heart next. And I do the same thing. I just hot glue it, put the other one on top, leave an opening at the bottom so that I can insert my stuffing. And I use a dowel to help, uh, you know, kind of poke it up in the top and just kind of help myself get um, the shape that I'm looking for. Now I'm going to decorate my hearts and I was going for a softness and I have this little trim. I got this at uh, Walmart. I'm going to go around the edges and I'm going to be covering up those holes. I'm not really uh, worried about those holes. And so I'm just going around the edge of the heart and just hot gluing it in place. And then once I finish with this trim, then I'm going to go back um, around it again and put those uh, pearls, which is also a trim. And I got both of these trims from Hobby Lobby. No, from Walmart. I'm sorry. Hobby Lobby is my go-to store, but I was fortunate to find this white trim and these white pearls at Walmart uh, in the uh, craft section. So uh, if you like this project and you recreate it, I hope that you can find it there too. To decorate or embellish my uh, white heart, I'm going to use this glittery vase filler that is also from the Dollar Tree. It has red, pink, and white little glittery styrofoam balls. And I just took out the three sizes of the balls of uh, pink from this bag. And I just used my serrated knife. I keep one of these in my craft room just to use for projects like this. I just cut them in half. They were very easy to cut apart. And then now I'm just going to um, hot glue them around the heart in a the pattern that I want. Just basically um, the largest, then the you know next size, and then the smaller one. And I just keep going around and, and gluing them onto the heart.
I made two of the pink hearts with the pearls and then I made one of the white hearts with the pink styrofoam um, little balls to go in my arrangement. And to get them to stick in there, I'm using these skinny sticks. I found this pack of um, skinny sticks over at Walmart in the craft section. And then I'm using my ballet slipper color chalk paint and I'm just going to paint those up and then I will glue those into the little hearts and then that is what will stick into my styrofoam for my little heart pillows. I'm going to use these uh, foam hearts from Dollar General. These are much larger than the ones that you get at the Dollar Tree. And they are a bit too bright pink for me. So I'm going to subdue them just a little bit by adding uh, some chalk paint to them. And as you can see, it really kind of, you know, I wanted to see just the pink through it without having, you know, the um, brightness of the pink. So I'm just using my plaster color chalk paint and I'm just going over um, the heart. And even though it's glittery, none of the glitter came off for me. And uh, I just stuck it in my little styrofoam uh, little block that I keep in my craft room um, until they dry. I'm going to use these little hearts um, as accents in my little arrangement and uh, I took off the bow the pink bow that came on the hearts before I painted them so then now I'm just adding some lace trim and uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby um, a while back I think they still have it like in their decorative trims if you are interested in this particular one anyway I just tied a, a two loop little bow and just kind of fiddling with it um, um, until I get the loops and the tails the way that I like them and then those are going to go in my little arrangement. For my arrangement, I have this styrofoam block that I uh, got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue that in the bottom of my little pail. I'm not worried about taking off the um, plastic or anything. And then now I have some fine Excelsior, and um, you know, a couple of viewers have left me comments that you can get Excelsior at the Dollar Tree. Yes, you can, but I only like the fine Excelsior, which I can only get. Um, at Joann's or on Amazon. I don't like the chunky, thicker Excelsior, um, but I do want to clarify that and thank some of my viewers for letting us know that you can get the Excelsior at the Dollar Tree. I like the fine Excelsior because it's a bit more whimsical and gives me the look that I'm going for. I found this beautiful bouquet of ranunculus flowers from Walmart. It was $3 for this uh, bushel and they're just so beautiful and exactly what I wanted for my little arrangement here. So I'm going to change the angle of the camera here because I usually film from up above and it was a little hard to see what I was doing. So then now what I'm going to do is, um, like I said, I had the little sticks that I just glued into my little heart pillows and then I'm just going to stick those into the styrofoam and then I will cut my flowers apart and then I will start arranging them into this little can. I'm not going to hot glue anything because I don't think that I'm going to keep this um you know, for years to come, I think that I'm going to, you know, probably take it apart so that I don't have to store it. But um, if it's something that you are, you know, going to make and want to enjoy for years to come, I would definitely hot glue or glue everything um, into the styrofoam so that it doesn't uh, come out.
Now taking more of the uh, little white and pink little glittery vase fillers, um, I'm just using some toothpicks um, that'll stick into those little styrofoam balls. And I'm just going to sporadically put them around my arrangement just to give, you know, just a little different texture by providing different dimensions um, for my little arrangement here. And then next I'm going to put in the hearts that I painted and um, subdue those and have my little lace bows on there. It looks so cute. I just kind of arrange them where I think that they uh, need to go. This little berry bush is also from Walmart and I just love it. It almost looks like a baby's breath to me. So I'm just going to cut some off of that and stick it into my arrangement. Just kind of sticking it around different places that have little holes that I want to fill up. And uh, I'm just loving the way that this is turning out. I just know that I'm not always going to um, want to put it out. Um, I just wanted to create something that was, you know, pink and white and have, you know, just a bit of wispiness to it. And that is what this Excelsior provides to this little arrangement. That's why I like the fine Excelsior that I can find at Joann's and um, Amazon. Um, Hobby Lobby used to have the fine Excelsior, but they only have the chunky Excelsior now too. So boo-hoo. Um, and then now I'm just uh, taking some more of those pip berries that I bought a garland at Hobby Lobby. I got it um, for half off. So uh, it was regularly $29.99. I got it for $15. And so I just took it apart so that I could use the pip berries in little arrangements like this and also for other crafts. I just added the love word. I just set it in there. I didn't glue it or anything. Uh, and I think this little arrangement is so sweet. I just love all of the sweet flowers and the felt hearts and berries and everything together. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know which one of these three projects that I did today is your favorite. And if you would leave me a comment, I would love to know that. Guys, if you recreate it, please share it with me over in the Country Charm Crafty community. It is my free Facebook community that I do have for us. If I inspire you to do something that you can share pictures with me so that I can give you some love, just the way that you give love to me. I appreciate you all, your sweet comments, everything that you do for me. Y'all are helping my channel grow so much and I have so many more things planned. It's going to be a great 2020. All right, guys, we'll talk to you very soon and God bless.